Yeah, but they're stopping. Mm -hmm. Go to the quarter of the way along. Two octaves of bubbly. And then you go a fifth of the way along there. Yeah, exactly the octave. Mm -hmm. Seventh, you said, was what? Well, it's a B flat in relation to C. It's a minor seventh, slightly smaller than the uh, than the tempered one. Hmm. Very interesting. But I've got how do you pr how do you how are you creating the undertone series then with this? Well, then I have to use a bridge. Uh, look at this, because you have to really stop the string. Aha! Yes. That's a very start here. way of doing it. That's one sixteenth of the string. That's a minor third right there. Well, hmm. we just want starting this is this is our starting note now. Okay. Now we go to one eighth. Whoops. Well one complicating factor is it has to have the same tension. Ah. And uh, if I put yes. it near the end it gets a st higher tension. So I Fudging a bit here. I'll right. put it here. Just no, an eighth of the way. Now close. That's an octave lower. Uh, yeah. Um. Mm. What do I want next? Um, a third of the way. Uh, over here. No. Oh, I've got them here. Yeah, marked in the next yeah, yeah. row. No, not quite. There's the fifth down. And there's the next octave. Here comes the third. A flat. Just turns. One sixth. Minor third right there. Yeah, that's right. Here comes the seventh. The D is going down. And then octave again. And then we can get into the next octave. Nine. I mean, the ninth mm -hmm. division. We're back to the tonic. Uh, eight was the tonic. Eight was the tonic, okay. Nine gives a, a second below it. Mm -hmm. Ten gives a third below. Third. Mind, uh, major third, right. Yeah. And then there's the eleventh one, which is almost a mo almost a um, tritone. It's uh -huh, yeah. It's in between, and that's again the problem. Diabolus and musica. <laughs> yeah, it's um, that's one of the problems in the theory because it doesn't give you the subdominant chord. You can't find it here. <laughs> There's the uh, the twelfth, which is the fifth down, mm -hmm. and then the thirteenth is again an odd one, and the fourteenth is again the seventh down, the D here, and fifteenth is a major seventh down. <laughs> Amazing. And then you get the basic one again. And the Greek modes, as you'll read about there, are based on this part of the undertone series. Like 8 to 16 is one octave, or 9 to 18 is another one, or 10 to 20 is another one. The Greek modes are the based on the original Greek modes. The original Greek yeah, modes. Yeah, because then they got... Which everyone says we will never know. Yeah. But, but you can Kathleen, that. Kathleen Schlesinger discovered them. Uh, she was curator of the ancient instruments in the British Museum in the first part of the 20th century. And she wrote this big book, The Greek Olos, or Aflos, published in 1939. 
You read about that in chapter 4. <laughs> That's what I'm just reading. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. But then there's another Greek system of tuning, which is more like our modern one. And the, the nomenclature, the names, were got confused between the two. That's why we got this uh, confusion about the Greek modes. Interesting. There's so much confusion in the world of music theory yeah. that it's 